Okay, so my more basic bug out boxes, you always want to have some rope. You know, you can get this for a dollar. This, I think this was a dollar. And then I got plenty of matches. Those were also a dollar. I throw in a cheap knife, cotton swabs. This is a little first aid kit I made. I threw it in a Ziploc bag. It has some alcohol, uh, a couple Advil packages for pain, um, band-aids. And I like to throw in a lighter just in case, you know, matches don't last as long. And it's, it's good. Sometimes you'll need a lighter application. But uh, then I always throw in some kind of tweezers. That, you know, you never know when you might need it. But uh, <clears throat> this box was also a dollar. And it comes with a lid. I'm going to show you. I just kind of, everything will throw in here nicely. And have no problem fitting. And you can always customize things you might like to have. And put them in there. And as you can see, I still have plenty of room to throw in anything else. In my case, I like to throw in personal protection. Because if I'm going to bury it. And uh, obviously if I'm digging it up and I'm away from the house, there's a reason for that. But um, if you can't afford, obviously, to throw one of these every 100 feet in your yard, you know, you at least want to have one good weapons cache put away from your house and uh, where you can be able to get to. But uh, now this box isn't exactly waterproof. So what I have done with some that I buried, I put a uh, wrap bin and cellophane really good. And uh, that seems to keep it waterproof for a pretty long time and uh, but this is the basics minus the protection here everything in there is was under ten dollars that I found at the dollar stores and uh, other places that you can pick up where you go around but uh, that's just a basic bug out box is what I call them and um, if y'all know anything that you think would be good to add in them uh, please comment and uh, subscribe.